up guys welcome back to our channel today we are talking about puppies and this is a little miss Rosie Rodas, she's teething right now, so this nylon bone has been a huge help. But she is an American Cocker Spaniel, and we got her when she was eight weeks old. She is just a wonderful addition to our family, and we're just excited to have our pandemic puppy. She is certified with the American Kennel Club, so AKC certified, and this is a cool little documentation. It tells us who the parents were, kind of her little family tree. So that's awesome, and we got that. And then we also got our little health care canine record. And it does have all of her shots here. So every time she gets a shot, she gets a new little documentation here. And this is really handy to bring into the vet with you every time. So that way, if you don't know what shot she got or when she's due for her next one, you can kind of just show them the pamphlet and they already know what to do. And that is also important if you are planning to travel with your puppy, you do need documentation that they are vaccinated. So hopefully we are all set to go when we take her on her first plane ride. As soon as this pandemic clears up. She is also about, I want to say like 12 pounds now. When we got her, she was so tiny. She was like five pounds. And sh she'll get to about 15 to 30 pounds. So we'll see how big she gets because 15 to 30 pounds is like a huge difference. Yeah, we hope that she stays about 15 pounds. And I think her mom was 20 pounds or her dad was 20 pounds. So she might be on the smaller end. And this video was highly requested. I think the most sought out question was what did we need beforehand getting a puppy and what would you recommend? Let me tell you, we had nothing, huh, nothing when we got her. I think the breeder gave us that nylon bone and some dog food and a blanket. Yeah, so those those things were you know definitely useful, especially because most of the stores were closed at the time, and we didn't know that we were, or Taylor didn't know that I was getting her a puppy, so we didn't have anything else ready for the puppy. It worked out. She's pretty easy to ma maintain. The night we got her, she did get her first shot, and she was super tired, and that's normal for puppies to be super tired after their first shot. But then about, I think it was three days later, we ended up getting a crate, and I'll put everything we got and recommend in the description below. But we got her a medium-sized crate that she has been sleeping in, and we have been doing crate training at night. So it's just a great way to keep your dog close without having them sleep on your bed. Um, the crate training is definitely a thing that I would recommend. However, she doesn't always love her crate. The first couple of nights of her in her crate were terrible because she just cried the whole time and that's expected. You kind of just have to let them cry it out. But now she's pretty good. She'll sleep through the night and she only really cries when she has to go potty or when it's 6 a.m. because that is her morning alarm clock. Yeah, she just gets up at 6 and she does not go back to bed. Which is perfect when we go back to work because 6 o'clock is the time that we need to get up anyways. But, It'll work. Mm -hmm. Perfect. But crate training was something that we really like and then occasionally she'll sleep in our bed. My brother Joel did recommend to stop giving her food and water after 8 p.m. and when we did that she was not waking up as often to go to the restroom. So that is another thing that you could keep in mind. So a couple things that we would recommend as well, since she is a puppy, until they're about three or four months, and she's almost four months, she'll be four months in about two weeks or so, a little less than two weeks now. About next week. Mm -hmm. And she just went on her first walk last week, or no, this week. She went on her first walk this week, so that was something really important to us that we didn't take her out anywhere until she fully got her vaccinations or until she was about three or four months just because they can get really sick and we didn't want our puppy to get sick at that time. Another thing is we, as you can see, she's super playful right now, but she doesn't have a collar on. So I read that you're not supposed to put collars on dogs until they are about four months. So that was another thing that we went with and we bought her this cool harness just in case we took her in the car with us or she was out front playing. It's a pretty pink color, it's adjustable, and she actually is pretty good on this. She doesn't run or tear it off. The only thing she thinks is it is a toy. Everything is a toy with her. Everything is a toy. 
Another thing that with puppies, if you do get a puppy, 100% is supervision to help them with potty training. So a big thing we did was the crate to start with potty training, but the other thing was if she played when she was done playing, we took her outside. And then if she woke up from a nap, we immediately took her outside. So those things that can help prevent them going potty inside. Another thing that we used for potty training was our bell. I know I've talked a little about this on my Instagram, but this has been really fun to teach her and she actually loves this. Definitely very useful to have her ring the bell before she, and then that's how she lets us know she needs to go outside and to go use the restroom. So this is awesome. And it's kind of cute to see her just ring the bell with her paw. She has a little sass when she doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, now she's like, she actually will ring it multiple times until we go huh. open the door for her. And then whenever she does go to the restroom outside, we use a lot of positive reinforcements and we just praise her. Praise and dog food. You can use dog food as treats. That was something we did a lot. Or to get them started on the bell, I put a little thing of peanut butter on it so she got to play with it at first. And then after that, I would put her paw on it. And she didn't really like that so much, but it worked. And then every time we opened the door, she's like, the bell right now. Every time we opened the door, we always rang the bell, huh? Like every time you left yeah. her work, we rang the bell. And then she just kind of one day started ringing it, and that she got associated with ring bell means open the door. And now she uses it for attention. That's something, yeah, something that helps potty training, unless. Maybe if we got a doggy door, I would recommend getting a doggy door, but yeah. we didn't get a doggy door. We currently door. don't have one, so the bell is the next best thing. And especially since we're home right now, it's very easy for us to just go open the door for her. And our last topic is training. So training, you guys have seen, I have trained her to sit, lay down, shake, high five, and her newest one is roll over. And all those came with time. I say, what, 10, maybe 15 minutes a day I would yeah. work with her? Yeah, just a, a smaller time span throughout the day, just multiple multiple times that she was working with with uh, the puppy, and that's why Taylor's now uh, sets out of Milan, that's her nickname. She's a dog whisperer, so she's been training Rosie, and then I get to just play around and, and actually do the tricks without having to do all the training myself. So that's been awesome. And something that, so he uses the treats now and he kind of just does it to praise her or have fun with her. And when I was training her, all I did was use dog food. And dog food is a really good motivator. So first we started out with her name. So in order to get your dog to learn their name, you want to say their name. When they acknowledge you, then you give them a treat or their dog food. And that way, every time they look at you, they'll recognize that that word is important and that word has value and you get food when you say that word. So that's kind of how she learned Rosie. And it's the same thing, you just gotta take it slow and have a lot of patience with them. You hear her ring her bell. She just wants to go outside right now, so. Take a quick short break. Good girl! Okay, now we're gonna do shake. So first, I'm gonna show you just like how you would start off. So you're gonna say shake and you're gonna shake and then you can feed her the tree and then over time you'll kind of get that. But like I said, use the same command. So, Rosie shake, Rosie, Rosie shake. Good girl! And then while I hold her paw, I give her the tree. That way she kind of knows to keep her hand up. And, and we're back. And we're back. So just little things, so shake. I would just pick her paw up after she was sitting down and then I would repeat the word shake and I would grab her paw. When I would shake with her, then I would give her the treat while I had my her paw in my hand. Relax. She's so active right now. <laughs> she just woke up from her nap actually. I know, she's like not having it. Um, so yeah, just kind of work with them slowly. I don't know, lay down was kind of harder. We ended up just guiding her nose with the tree until she would lay down and then roll over. So once she was laid down, we just kind of pushed her over and then that's how she got roll over. Dang, she totally stole her bell. So there's a bunch of good things out there. This is just some things that we've done with our puppy. And once again, I will leave everything that we would recommend helping. She hasn't lost her teeth yet, so we're not pros with teething. Besides that nylon bone, that nylon bone, and we bought her um, what are those like chicken flavored bones? 
Nevada chicken flavor bones. And then we also got these um, things called greenies. They're shaped like bones and they're supposed to be good for their teeth and their gums. So when she does have bad dog breath, I give her a little greenie and that actually helps to reduce the bad breath. So I hope some of these tips were helpful, but this is what we've learned in the process and she is totally having a ball down here. <laughs> okay, relax. And that's it for our puppy video. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or what else you may think of, let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you guys in the next video.